Hey y'all, I just woke up. I just changed really quick. Y'all, it's currently 7.25 in the morning. It's so freaking early. <coughs> <coughs> but guess who decided to take an 8 a.m. appointment? Today is going to be a very busy day. I have a lot of clients today. I miss these kind of days because I had moved away to college, so I wasn't taking clients. I'm scared. It's going to be a lot for me because... I haven't had that many people in one day in a minute, but since I have a lot of clients today, I think I'm gonna just stick with the bun because the hair's not in my face. Because when I got the bun, you know that means I'm locked in. I may look like trash, but your nails won't. Okay, guys, I'm gonna eat breakfast really quick. It's gonna be this orange because that's all I have. So this is gonna be my little breakfast. So I'm gonna take my vitamins for the day right now because if i don't do it right now i'm gonna forget later i'm gonna be so busy today what i usually take is magnesium and vitamin d and these help a lot with my soreness of my wrist because i work a lot and i put a lot of strain on my wrist so to my nail ticks take care of your health i recommend these two it helps with your like bones support. guys and today the scary part about today it's a all new client day By the way, I know I don't have my nails done right now, but I'm gonna make a video doing them. Don't worry, a video coming soon. Subscribe. But anyways, our right, makeup is done. We're looking like a snack or whatever. Like, no, this is just like makeup, no makeup vibes. Okay, these are the vibes. It's looking a little dead right now. She's not looking appointment ready. Hey guys, I just finished setting everything up for my clients. I'm waiting for client number one. I'm about to put something to watch for my first client on the TV, but there's nothing for my clients to watch because I feel like there's nothing freaking good on Netflix anymore. Y'all, I'm the type of person to want to put Christmas Chronicles already and it's not even October. Like I felt a little breeze outside. I'm like, jingle bells, jingle bells. It's officially fall when I put this song. If you know, you know. So how long ago did you move to the U.S.? Just about four years. How long have you been doing nails? For two years now. So Sorry. this was my first client of the day. As you can tell, the vibe was really good. At first, I was a little nervous, as I always am with new clients. But honestly, this girl made the whole appointment feel like a hangout. She was such a girl's girl, and I love her for that. Like I almost get a high off of like the energy and people's like mm, vibrations okay. from like a runway show, and then like. The time literally went by so fast because we were chopping it up the whole appointment and she was telling me about how she's a model and does runways in New York and I found that so awesome. And she was really pretty so I'm like period girl I really did believe her. By the way this is not going to be an in-depth tutorial just a little disclaimer I do have one posted if you're interested in an acrylic tutorial go to my channel. At first I thought she was going to want square nails which is why I put the square tips on her but she ended up changing her mind and decided to go with coffin so I was like okay I got you girl. The acrylic I'm using is perfect nude also from valentino beauty pier i feel like it goes so good with different skin tones really versatile and perfect for every client or almost every client my client is now runway ready and ready for her show in new york i hope she loved them i really love doing her nails and meeting her what's up i just finished client number one <sighs> your girl is drained but anyway client number two is pulling up in 20 minutes so we ain't got no time for that we there is no time to freaking rest Kind of grind right so first it was a success um this was the inspo and this was the outcome uh, but that last girl is so nice like me and her are locked in and she's like it was her first time here and i loved her like she was like a a girl's girl she told me that her nails were for a fashion show in new york i think that's so cool and i'm like dang and i got to do your nails like that's amazing I okay guys i'm ready for appointment number two period let's get this bag that's what client number two wants super cute now we wait for my client to get here period i'm kind of hungry though we should probably get something to eat because i'm running on nothing but nail dust and monomer something quick and healthy and i have like 30 seconds to eat it 
Okay guys, so now this is client number two. Honestly, she was a bit more of a quiet girl. She wanted them short and square for her birthday, so that's what I did, and I used bad and bougie. The whole appointment was silent, but I'm a quiet person too, so I get it. Sometimes you just don't feel like talking, and I just let her watch the movie. After I painted some black French tips, I used my airbrush machine to create these really cool designs. After that, I went in and did some 3D lines. This set came out so cute, even though they were shorties, they still ate. I just finished client number two. She has seen nothing, so I hope she liked them. Okay, guys, I'm ready for appointment number three, but I'm gonna take a little break right now. I'm gonna lie, I'm starting to feel a little bit tired. So what I decided to do, you guys always ask me, like, how do you stay so motivated? How do you like, you know, accomplish all these things? How God, I'm only reading the book of Matthew right now. I'm trying to read all of it because I've never read all of the Bible before, but I'm trying to just because I want to. But so I'm going to go do that and then I will see you guys in a bit. You guys, one thing I want to say though is I am new to the Bible, so I barely started reading scripture on my own time. It's not something that I used to choose to do. I'm still a little tired, but it's okay. We're going to push through it. We got two more clients to go and client number three is about to get here this is what client number three wants so i think it's kind of just like a soft white with black design on top so it should be light work hopefully it is hopefully it's cute but yeah i'm just waiting for her you want them square right oh, yeah this was my third client of the day i asked her what she was getting her nails done for and she told me she was getting them done for her 16th birthday which i thought was so cute pushed back all of her cuticles and got started on the prep i asked my client where did she find me from and she told me she had seen me on tiktok my most viral video which has 14 million views currently if you're an Altec, this is your sign to not stop posting content and to not give up because one 30 second video can literally change your whole life i cannot even explain the amount of new clients and people that have gotten from one single video that landed on millions of people's for you pages my client told me she was really happy because she did not expect to be able to get an appointment with me since i do tend up to get booked up pretty quickly most of the time the nail tips that i'm using on her are from shane they're taper nail square tips from shane and the pink box is also from shane i just bought it separately and used it to store all the tips in there which is so cute and matches my whole setup i used kds nail glue to stick on the tips my favorite nail glue of all time and i had used a 240 grit sanding band to prep the nails if you were wondering i then went carefully around with a cuticle cutter and cut all her dead skin off and cut the tips down to her desired length so she was still 16 she had to ask her mom if the length she picked was okay and then when her mom gave her the okay i cut all of them down one thing i like to do before application is pre-shape my tips just because i like my application to be a1 if you can get your application to be flawless before even shaping then literally it's gonna be such a simple process for you and you're gonna save so much time by saving all this extra time on shaping you're able to focus your time on more important things like the design and then you're going to be able to give your clients some super freaking cute nails and they're going to be obsessed and they're going to come back to you and you're going to be their nail tech forever so that's why it's important to get your application down that's why i always tell my beginner nail tech girlies for worrying about things such as like the design or having a perfect french tip you should focus on your application because your application is the foundation of your nail i think the color i was using was creme or cream by valentino beauty pierre i don't know how to pronounce it but but it was from the pr package that they sent me started sending me pr packages since i became an ambassador so you know i had to put them acrylics to work and even though that in the inspo picture the color shows that it's like a white with black on top she ended up choosing a nude color so don't cancel me guys because even if the inspo picture is not the same as the outcome my client chose a more nude color so that was up to her don't cancel me honey i just did what she asked okay i'm here to please her happy client happy nail tech if not then i cannot sleep at night because i'm here to satisfy my client and I need to make sure that they're happy with their nails if not then I cannot continue saying that I am a good nail tech my client had small nail beds which made her nails really easy to work with so I ended up doing the two bead method for almost every single nail if you don't know what that is that's basically when you use two beads in the acrylic instead of three during application I'm using a size 12 panel brush from Amazon and I'm also using the young nails monomer this, this is a work with me video I know it's not very tutorial like but I do have a shaping tutorial on the way and an application acrylic tutorial on the way so if you're not subscribed you might miss out what you're doing not gonna lie my application today was very smooth today the odds decided to be in my favor and my application was applicationing and coming out like butter and when the application is good to the point where your clients can walk out without you even filing 
girl that's a different level of scary right there and that's exactly how this application came out from this specific set but honestly it took me a while to get here don't think that i just got here overnight i literally just started doing nails one day went to sleep woke up and the next day i was the goat no it literally took me so much time to create nails by melanie the girl that i am now the nail tech that i am now it took me a while it took in work it took in dedication consistency and practice something i heard the other day that changed my perspective was the master has failed more times than the beginner and that's facts a master becomes a master because they're not scared of failure they take that failure and turn it into a lesson how you gonna win if you scared of fail that don't make no sense the only way that you're gonna learn is by error and trial and actually intending to do something failing and learning from it there is no such thing as being a dumb or a smart person it's all about dedication and how bad you want something so as you can see the application came out super cute and then when i was done with my application it was time for the shaping my favorite part so i used the 80 by 80 marcotte nail files from amazon and other nail tech in my area put me onto these shout out to her ever since i started using these files i literally have not gone back to anything else because one thing i'm not scared to say as a nail tech is that if you ask me to round out the corners i'm just not the nail tech for you because i take pride in making my shape close like i love the instagram baddie claw nails i'm sorry but that's just me as a nail tech i love it it's not right if it's not crisp so little fun fact for you guys did you guys know that i posted my first youtube video when i was nine that's crazy a lot of people often comment or say that they've been watching me for a long time but nobody besides the people really close to me know that youtube has been one of my passions for the longest time since i was a little girl like i would literally film and edit when i was little just for fun and post my little youtube videos they're on private now so don't even try to look for them but yeah i obviously never posted consistently but i am gonna start so i'm so excited i have so many videos planned for you guys especially with all the holidays coming up i'm so excited so i'm about to put you guys on what i do before i do na any nail art at all i buff the nails with cuticle oil then i clean them with rubbing alcohol then i put a layer of matte top coat and i clean them with the young nail swipe and that gives me the smoothest base ever to work with when i'm doing nail art carefully did some strokes on my client's nail using a black gel polish with a liner brush from amazon to create a zebra looking kind of design and i did a cheetah print design on the other nails the little nail art plate i'm using is from shane or timo i honestly don't know but i'm pretty sure you can get it on either side if you were wondering i do need your guys's help though so i'm currently thinking about getting a new chair for back pain i'm thinking about getting a gaming chair but i'm not sure if that's the move so to any nail techs out there let me know what specific chairs you use for back pain please put me on let me know some good recommendations down below in the comments when i hit and put on the top coat these nails came out bomb she is now birthday ready ready for her sweet 16 yay My client got me some fries. She's a real one. Like, I love my girls. You guys are so supportive. Always letting you record content. That's how you know my clients are girls, girls. Okay, guys. So, I just set everything up for client number four. Yeah, I still got energy because I'm just like that. Okay, my client just texted me that she's four minutes away and she's client number four. Isn't that funny? Just kidding. I think the monomer started to get to my head. <laughs> my three clients that i've met today they've all been nice so that's been pretty good and they've all been new people so we're about to see how the fourth one is let's get into it so this was my fourth client of the day and she decided to get some almond nails with a super cute pink airbrush design so a little pro tip for you guys if you run out of almond tips you can actually just use square tips that's what i do so after i cut them down to her desired length i literally just cut the sides with nail clippers and i take a file and literally so easily just shape the sides and effortlessly it creates the perfect oval almond look so personally i find this hack so easy to do that's why i don't even buy almond tips anymore i literally just do this whenever my clients ask me to do almond shape. i went ahead and prepped their nails and then i used the cover powder bad and bougie on her nails i feel like this cover powder is perfect if you're looking for a more pinkish tone kind of nude when doing almond nails it's easiest for me to do the two bead method the first bead i use to cover most of the nail bed and then the second bead is just for the cuticle area and pretty much to seal up all the application this client had actually 
actually came to me because her friend is my client who actually comes to me and she referred her to me because her friend poor her had only been going to chop shops her whole life so her nails were screaming for help so here i came you know in rescue and i was gonna do her better than them chop shops you know no shade to them but the last time i went to one and i asked them for a soak off they tried to rip my nails off can we take a moment to appreciate that application like let's get into her okay next was shaping i didn't even have to do much because the application came out so good period we we're just chopping it up talking about how hard college is and it's so material literally so crazy that i'm not in high school anymore let me know if you guys want a little video with a little life update so anyways the funny thing about my client is that she was also a pink girly just like me we're both obsessed with pink so of course she wanted her nails pink too so i did the super cute airbrush design on her i also did some super cute 3d gel art line since this client was a simple girl i feel like this design was perfect for her because one it was her favorite color and it popped but it was simple at the same time so i loved how it turned out hey guys my fourth client just left I am so tired, I have one more to go. <laughs> so now it was time for my last and final client of the day and just because she's the last client doesn't mean that i'm gonna get lazy on her nails or make them any less cute i was still gonna eat down you already know the drill she decided to go with an almond shape so i did what i did on my last client and i shaped her nail tips to her desired shape and she decided to go with a super cute cheetah print design so i was so excited i feel like it's perfect for the fall weather this is me hand painting the little french tips and i used some blooming gel from amazon in order to create the cheetah effect on the nails so i went ahead and put some dark brown dots on top of all the nails and then after that i put the little cross charm that she wanted it came out so cute this was the inspo and this was the outcome okay guys so i'm so tired i look so crusty right now I'm about to take off like what's left of my mascara. Yo, can you guys tell who's the favorite child? Look, that's me right there. So this is what my mom's making. She's making some rice, some corn, okay? All the healthy, nutritious stuff. Hey guys, I just got out of the shower. This is the serum that I've been using to grow my lashes. I feel like it's low-key been working. It was definitely a successful day, I will say I got that bag. So now I can go fall shopping. I'm probably gonna leave this on for like 15 minutes. 